I rise to uh, respond to the Chair's statement as the Deputy Chair of the House, House of Reps Health and Ageing Committee on the report Living with Pain of Adhesive Arachnoditis. I'd like to start with the following statement. Our guiding principles are to focus on patient needs, respect people, communicate honestly and act with integrity. We are bound by a promise to keep our customers at the heart of everything we do. We do this work in partnership with government, industry, the community and our peak industry association. To any sufferers of adhesive arachnoditis, they will recognise the motherhood statement is taken from GlaxoSmithKline's website, and I will discuss this later in my speech. GSK is the company that released the Myodil and Pantopac products into the medical world, and this is a cause of the condition known as adhesive arachnoditis, which has been described in the report as a painful condition. We heard the chair say in her statement, in short, this is a horrific condition. Madam Deputy Speaker, the report states the committee very much appreciates the contributions of all participants to its inquiry. The roundtable made clear to the committee how debilitating an adhesive arachnoditis can be to sufferers. The committee very much sympathises and hopes that the recommendations in the report will help to improve quality of life for sufferers and their families and carers. I would particularly like to mention Mr Max Scott from my electorate of Swan, who first brought this terrible condition to my attention. I would also like to thank Mr John Hagerman and his daughter and carer, Mrs Erica Zorzit, who both came to visit me about Mr Hagerman's condition. Their visit gave me the extra impetus to cajole, urge and convince the Health and Ageing Committee to commit to a roundtable, and I thank my fellow committee members for, for their support in agreeing to the roundtable. Madam Deputy Speaker, in particular, I would like to thank Steve Georgianis as the previous chair and Jill Hall, the current chair, who both played their part in getting this roundtable up. I'd like to thank the Secretariat for their work on this difficult report, as I felt that there was a level of trepidation in dealing with this subject due to the long litigious history of the subject and the ongoing litigation. Thanks must also be given to the previous member for Throsby, Jenny George, for tackling this issue back in the early 2000s with the support of Jill Hall. I'd also like to take time to mention Mr Jonathan Martin from my office, who spent a considerable amount of time dealing with the sufferers and providing me with valuable research. His efforts should not go unnoticed by the people who read this report. Madam Deputy Speaker, I'd like to comment that during my time involved with the Forgotten Australians apology more than three years ago now, the comment that the Leader of the Opposition at that time, Malcolm Turnbull, made in his speech when he said, we believe you, was for many people a significant moment. I think the same significance could be taken by the arachnoditis sufferers from the comments made by Professor Michael Sage, a radiologist, when he stated, I believe that the most common cause of chronic arachnoditis is myodil, and most people have been suffering for 40 years. These people have suffered mainly because we were using a dye, myodil, with no alternative. He went on to say that there was a gradual recognition with poor, poor literature, I might say, that there was a problem. A needle was, intru needle was introduced to allow us to suck it out. The problem was that it was often impossible to suck it out all anyway. The bottom line was that if there was some alternative, we should not have been putting it in. I was very concerned about this. The report's recommendation number one goes back to the first part of my statement that was taken from the GSK website. This recommendation's first paragraph states, in the context of corporate social responsibility, the committee encourages GlaxoSmithKline to consider establishing a charitable foundation to assist the sufferers of adhesive arachnoditis. This is a decision that only GSK can make. However, if we are to believe all the motherhood and community caring messages stated on their websites around the world, we can only hope that they honour these statements. If they do not act, their response to this recommendation will give us a true indication of GSK's real community concern. In the report, there is a comment that states there is an acceptable failure rate of 10 per cent for people who contract arachnoditis from a myelography. I ask that would that be an acceptable failure rate for a motor vehicle manufacturer? The clear answer is no. My experience with manufacturing that about a 1 per cent failure rate is acceptable before they have a recall. Madam Deputy Speaker, I encourage people to read this report and again thank all the people who are able to finally have this debilitating condition brought to the public awareness through this report. I commend this report to the House. Thank you. The speaker, uh, sorry.